Hello and welcome to episode 6 of How to Beat Digital Distraction and Write More. My name is Andy Tadsall, I'm an Information Specialist at the School of Health and Related Research at the University of Sheffield and this is a very short series of podcasts and their aim is to help you deal with digital distraction and help you write a bit more. So, this next episode here is how to beat digital distraction by leaving your desk. It's a very simple premise to do. And quite simply, if you did leave your desk, probably you would quite easily cut out the digital distraction. But productive writing can happen if you do show the right amount of willpower. And one option is to declutter the virtual and physical space um, is to just move away from your desk to somewhere else. Um, and I'm not saying doing that permanently, but what I'm saying is is consider it as an alternative from time to time and that sometimes that change of scenery, even if it's just for a single day, is enough to spur you on to get that project started or finished. If you have a lot of reading to do, um, then maybe take yourself off to the quiet areas in your university library and turn off your phone, leave your laptop alone, put it away and just focus on the reading. And if that works for you, then find a space that offers a nice view of the outside world and preferably preferably, um, one that looks at nature. Don't, however, find somewhere that has got a very busy view. Um, If there are lots of people and activity, you might just find yourself people watching rather than getting on with the task in hand. If your task includes assessing students' work or undertaking peer review, again, take yourself away from your desk. Grab a nice drink, a pen, and the work, and just take it away from your desk. And don't worry uh, that that uh, destruction will come calling because you've you've taken yourself away. And, um, and if anyone needs to get hold of you, just let them know that you're not there or put something in your calendar. If you assess student work using such as Turnitin, and you're a member of staff, uh, uh, then I suggest you would use the app because this is a really great way to leave student feedback and you can leave quick marks, you can use the rubric, you can leave audio feedback which is all really good uh, and um, you can you can do this in a nice comfortable space and focus on that job and cut out various things such as email and other distractions. If you've got a a meeting with your supervisor or colleagues and you don't need to be in front of a computer screen, then go maybe for a walk-in meeting. If that walk-in meeting takes you down the street that has loads of nice shops, then resist temptation to go into them because, again, that's procrastination. But the main thing to consider here is, is that you're not always tied to your desk necessarily. There are hot spaces you can go and work in, in the library, um, at home, different places. As long as the people who need to know where you are know where you are then it's just good to get that change of scenery um, and to get a different environment and just get certain tasks done at the certain time of the year so hopefully you found that useful Um, my name is Andy Tattersall and uh, thanks a lot for listening to this podcast there are more in this series and you can find details on the image attached to this podcast Mm -hmm.